Welcome to a new section. In the last section, we answered the first question about how to know if some feature is supported or not. Our second question, a critical one is really, or skill, is how to cross browse or work with DOM manipulation. So some of this conversation we're gonna look at, to be able to do that, we're gonna practice working on conditional features. We're gonna select DOM elements natively, the HTML5 way. And we're going to create a conditional loader that will or use the available features that are on the browser or load in extra features only if we need them because the browser doesn't support them. And we're going to cover and finish this section by looking at Sizzle library, which is a subset of jQuery that is used to select DOM elements. And we're going to use that as our alternative when users do not support the HTML5 built in features. All right. So what are we going to do in this lecture? In this lecture, we're going to build that conditional logic flow that will enable us to basically create two cases, one of those supported browsers. And we're going to look at how do we discover if a feature is available and supported or not. And then we'll create that conditional feature script, enabling us to then have one version where we're going to use the built in features while the other will load something externally. So we're going to get a first look at the query selector all, but we're not going to actually work with it. We're just going to build this, the core structure of our condition. And in the next lecture, we'll move into the Jerry query selector all. So let's jump right into our editor. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and let me just show you our page right here. I really want to, this copy. I want to approach it and change the copy to do that. I'm going to go ahead and in my editor, I'm just going to go ahead to one of our on ad ready. So I'm going to go to the third one here. And when the document is ready, what I want to do is I want to check to see if the document query selector exists. I would say even select all query selector all. Let me do a console log here. Yes, we have it. All right. So let's just see that it comes out in our output. And if I just open up our console, click on refresh. And we'll see, yes, we have it. Okay, this property exists, which is wonderful, but that does not mean it's going to always work. So go ahead into our references and click on to can I use query selector. If you're in this page, you'll see that for query selector or query selector all, query selector would return one item, query selector all would return one item or more returned in an array of sorts. Now notice that all modern browsers really supported besides IE8 that has partial support. Now, by the way, if I have here an if, that means only if this method exists, then we're going to go into this case, right? And any alternative where it doesn't exist, then we'll do something, right? And we're going to look at what would we do maybe in the next lecture. But if our query selector exists, great. But our only problem now is, as we can see in the documentation, is that in IE8, there is partial support. That means the method exists, but that does not mean it's going to be fully functional the way we would need it to be. So really in this case, and you can see the availability, we're talking about almost 95%. Now, what I want to do is it says in the little scribbly copy here, it says that basically it supports uh, CSS 2.1 selectors and a small subset of CSS 3 selectors. And we could see the notes there. So if I go ahead and see the notes of what is supported in IE8, we'll see that uh, the sibling CSS property of CSS 3 selector is there and attribute selectors are there. So what I want to do next is I want to add another case here. Not only does it exist, I also want to check to see if it exists and it returns a value. So it returns a value when the support supposedly is not there. So I'm going to go to the document query selector all. And what I'm going to ask for, I'm going to ask for something very odd. I'm going to ask for the body and in the body, I'm going to ask for first of type. Now the idea behind this is very simple. First of type was not supported in IE8. So what I'm doing here is I'm asking for the first of the type of body, which is really, there's only one body. Now, if the body returns great, that means we have support, full support of, of CSS three features in this document and we're fine. And then we could continue on and create whatever we want to create in our application. So yes, we have it and it's as full support. So if I go ahead and I click on refresh again, we'll see that not only we have it, but also we have it with full support. That means if it's IE8, we would not come true. If we would be in IE8, we'd be in this else statement, which we're going to figure out what to do with it in the next lecture. So we'll see you in the next lecture where we discover how to do that.